Greetings to you all. Welcome to today's Rhapsody reading. Today is Thursday, the 20th of August, 2020. Hallelujah. The topic is, it's a matter of choice. Praise the Lord. Our opening scripture is coming from the book of Romans 14, verse 17. And it says, For the kingdom of God is not meat and drink, but righteousness and peace and joy in the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Our pastor goes on to say, in life, there will be circumstances or even people that will try to frustrate your aspirations for a happy and joyful life. Nevertheless, everything still boils down to your choice. Yes, it's a matter of choice. If a man chooses to allow the disappointments of others or the damning effects of life's unfavorable conditions stop him, then you'd most likely live a frustrated life, unable to fulfill God's purpose for him. Such a person would often vent his anger and frustration on others. He would want to see everyone else unhappy because he finds no reason why you should be happy. This is the case with many people today. However, based on the knowledge of God's word concerning you, your choice can and should be different. Hallelujah. Choose to live your life in the light of his truth and make up your mind that your joy and fulfillment in life would be independent of circumstances. Choose to take pleasure in every day and enjoy the moments of your life. It is well for you. Hallelujah. In Deuteronomy 30 verse 19, the Lord said to the children of Israel, I have said before you life or death, blessing or curse, or oh, that you, you would choose life that you and your children might live. Praise the Lord. Pastor goes on to say, this is as touching as it is in instructive. He gave you the power to choose the life of blessings because that is desire for you to live in blessings evermore. Life to the full, divine help, supernatural insight, and great amplitude of mind, prosperity, and wealth, a life of victory, and ever-increasing joy. These and more are your divine provisions in Christ. But you must make the choice to apprehend and appropriate these realities in your personal life. Hallelujah. Choose to walk in God's word and glorify God in your life today. Hallelujah. Uh, you can say the prayer after me. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for giving me the life of blessings, full of joy, in glory I walk in divine health supernatural insight in great amplitude of mind prosperity and wealth thank you for your abundant grace and wisdom to rule my world in Jesus name Amen. Hallelujah. For further study, we are going to be reading from 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 8, John 15, verse 11, and Philippians chapter 4, verse 4. Thank you very much for listening. God bless you. Have a blessed day.